All right, today on the table I have the Magnum Research. Now, I originally wasn't going to shoot a review on this, because to me it's kind of like shooting a review on like a Ferrari or a Scar. When you spend that kind of money, you expect to get a good gun. So really in the review, all you're doing is talking about how awesome it is. But then after playing with it for a little bit, there's a couple of things I didn't really like. Now, the first thing, the sight rail is awfully high. So like when you put a scope on here, it's going to be mounted at about the same height as say your standard hunting rifle, which for me is a bit too high, because when I scope up, I like to have my cheek right down in here so it's real consistent, but for like this or that rifle, I gotta have it right about here. And I don't really like that because then you're prone for parallax misses, so I kind of wish they'd make this lower, however they could, and then I'll adjust the scope height myself with the size of the scope rings I pick. Now you could switch out the stock and put something a little bit taller on there, or adjustable, but the whole point of spending this kind of money on a rifle is so you don't have to touch it. Throw on your own optics, good to go. Now uh, this particular model is not free-floated. Most of them are, but the person who ordered this one wanted one that's more traditional looking. Um, they got the mag extended releaser on there, that's pretty cool. The extended bolt arm. I'm not really a fan of this. I kind of like the standard Ruger ones, but you know, whatever. I mean, it's cool looking. On the top, it says recommended 40 or 50 grain. Do not use 30 grain. This particular rifle is chambered in a uh, 22 mag. Now, this barrel is really, really cool looking. Uh, the transition between the carbon fiber and the stainless steel, you almost can't even feel it. But if you feel really closely, you can. Now, looking at this barrel, I assumed that the inner sleeve was stainless steel as well and then they just wrapped the whole thing in carbon fiber to give it a backbone because when you look through the receiver it looks like the whole barrel is stainless steel and then this end cap stainless steel so you'd assume that's stainless steel but when you look down the barrel you can actually tell there's two different pieces of metal and the inner sleeve is really 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 rusty so whatever that is it isn't stainless steel I don't know how accurate this firearm is because I haven't shot it yet, but I plan on actually getting one of these in 22 with a different stock setup, so I will have some trigger time on this. If it totally sucks, I'll just annotate across the top of this whole video. Do not buy. Not accurate at all. Uh, the stock itself, it's like a rubberized plastic. Feels really good in your hands. I like it. The trigger pull on this is phenomenal. And this probably doesn't matter, but it's kind of cool to me. It smells like a new pair of shoes. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if this does really awesome uh, in accuracy, I'll probably even do a follow-up video. So I'll look for that. Leave in the comments below if you own one of these and what you think of it.